glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. To Ohio State, Michigan is that school up north. To many in Michigan, they won't even say Ohio State, just calling them Ohio instead. Both teams have defined excellence in their long and storied history, and the Wolverines and Buckeyes set to do battle in the game. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. the best rivalry in all of college football. And boy, this one should be exciting. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 32. Getting ready to take the field in their final home game in their career. And the final games always have an extra emotional element in them. We'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Caught open field. He's knocked out of bounds around the 46 yard line. You know, I talked to so many college quarterbacks who have gone on to be very successful in the NFL, and they all talk about the execution of the play action. And all of them talk about the good ones, about taking their time and really working to sell the play action and sell the fake. If you don't take the time as a quarterback to really sell the fake, it's going to make it easy on the linebackers and safeties to realize that that was just a fake handoff and to get back in position. But when you really work it and sell it the way that quarterback did right there, that's when it's more effective. It can open up the big play. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. The Buckeyes have a player that's up for national awards. It's all speculation right now. You can talk about awards after you win them. He's got to worry about playing this football game. He's tackled around the 25-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Now he's scrambling. Brought down at the 23-yard line. Receiver incomplete. Wow, Brad, you talk about having a strong arm. Next time, though, he might want to work on the accuracy. It's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Ohio State is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and it's good. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. Three nothing, Ohio State. Bellamy has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. From their own 37-yard line. First down. Mike five, Mike five. There's a strike complete. Tackle at the 46-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. goes at about 
about the 45. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45. Williams on the counter, right side. And he tackles him hard at the 42. He's on the run. And he's taken down at the 31. From the 31 yard line, it's first down. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. That brings him second and five. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Wolverines. Wow. When you see that end zone in front of you, it can elevate your running to another level. Awesome play. He makes the PAT. So that's a seven-play, 77-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. From his own goal line. Tackle at the 30-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Let's go! 319! Gives it left side. Gets out to about the 31. That's a game of one. That brings us second to nine. And he just gets rid of it. It's third down, nine to go. Ball on their own 31. Hey, alert 48. Hey, go Mike to 48 right now. Let's go. Set. Ten. Nearly intercepted. Alvarez on the coverage. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Johnson to punt. He's taken down at the 48. The Wolverines really got the job done on that first drive, and they took the crowd out of this thing. They sure did, and I was really impressed with the execution by the quarterback. It's tough to be able to communicate with your linemen, and not to mention your wide receivers, but he did a very nice job of showing great poise, keeping his composure, and leading them to some points. We'll see what he can do here this next time out. Up the middle for a nice game. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Michigan holds a four-point lead. They'll work the left. He's at the 40, out of bounds, at about the 37-yard line. That makes it first and 10. a first down. He's brought down in the open field. That's a team of 19 in the row. First down. Two 
First and ten. Ball on the 18-yard line. Mike five. Mike five. The ten. And he's level at the one. That makes it first and goal. tries to buy some time. They bring the quarterback down. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So at the end of one quarter, the Wolverines lead 7-3. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first tight ball game, hey, folks. Michigan is up four. Touchdown, Michigan! job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And he hits the PAT. So a six play, 52 yard drive. And they put up seven points. And Brad, right now the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Hines, ready to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 26-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Tackle made at about the 35. He's scrambling. He has some room. He dives and he'll be marked down. And the Heisman hopeful shows us that he can run as well as pass. He's so gifted. Not only can he throw the ball, he has the abilities he saw here of tucking it in and really hurting defenses. Make the stop around the 30-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 29. looking for the tight end. Fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It's up. And he nails the long field goal. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 14-6, Michigan. Bellamy gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Michigan up by eight. The halfback with a carry. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Good, solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Right in the 
from their own 43-yard line. First down. And they hit him in the backfield. The toss play loses a yard. going to try and scramble. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 40-yard line, first down. for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Finally, love to see the offensive coordinator finds a way to get the ball to the tight end. The quarterback has got to do a better job of communicating with the tight end to make sure they're both on the same page. Otherwise, they're going to continue to throw these incompletions. Throws complete, big loss. Loss of five there. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Michigan holds an eight-point advantage. Matthews is back awaiting the punt. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's got an opening. He makes his way to about the 32. He might have a chance. Makes it to the 41. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. And that's what happened there. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 46. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. The Buckeyes had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Excellent open field tackle. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. Miller will be the return man. Yeah. 
He fields the punt at the 16, and he's tackled at the 26. This one might be coming back, folks. So let's check out the penalty. Clipping. Receiving team. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. They line up at the 10. It's first down. Michigan is up by eight. Has it to the senior. They'll get six yards. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. Second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Scramble. Ohio State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. We've got third and 12. Ball on the eight yard line. Listen to this place. And he makes it out to about the 11 yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Matthews takes it at the 43, and down he goes at the 34-yard line. We played a half of football. Michigan leads it 14-6. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games. And you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astroturf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some uh, chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Curry. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He'll take it from the two. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Michigan up by eight. He's on the run, runs with it, and he's got room. He's taken down at the 40. That makes it first and 10. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That brings him second and five. Side. 
Brought down at about the 41. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. Looks for his tight end over the middle. And he's taken down at the 38 yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 38 yard line. at the 35. Back up quarterback into the game now to call the signals. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that ball. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. The Wolverines, his quarterback, taken off earlier. Down on the sideline right now. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, and I would bet that we'll see him back in the game before the day is over. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Now he's scrambling. Tackle made at the 48. Fires to his tight end, nothing doing. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Johnson to punt. Fielded at the 19. Oh, man, he took him down hard. So we're just about ready to return to action. Michigan holds an eight-point advantage. tries to buy some time they bring him down a great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has again that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker and that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 30. Here's a handoff, left side. And he tackles him hard at the 28-yard line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. That is a textbook tackle right there. He leveled his shoulders and just put his whole body weight behind that one. Great hit. Cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Nice run there. Good awareness by the defense to know where the first down was and stop him short of. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. 27 yard punt. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. 
But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's leveled at the 44. Make the stop at the 35-yard line. They'll bring him down at about the 25-yard line. Field and he's tackled around the 18 yard line. Both offenses still trying to find a way to open things up. The end of three quarters. Michigan leads it 14 to 6. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He's going right. Fires quickly. Touchdown. Important play coming up, and if they can get these two yards, we'll have a tie ball game. They don't get it. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Crimson and Cream and the Big Orange of Oklahoma State battle in Bedlam. And for Oklahoma, once again, this game just goes to show you never take anything for granted in college football. Oklahoma State leads it 20 to 3. Reese, it doesn't get any closer than what we've got in this one. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 20 yard line. So early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight football game, and the game could hinge on this possession. Michigan is up two. Feeds it to the back. Nice gain as he works the right side. That makes it second and six. From their own 24-yard line, second down. And they push him out at the 30-yard line. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and inches. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. Sweep left. He did not get to the first down marker. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Is the putter. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Ohio State's had a really hard time establishing any kind of rhythm on offense today. Yeah, and we're so used to seeing that from them. They might want to go back and, and look at this film and try to study to see what they didn't do well because this is not uh, the type of offense you'd expect to see from these guys. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Slings it right. He's a 
the 20. Gets out to around the 18. That's a great tackle at the seven. He's had no problem finding running room today. That makes it 100 yards. There are so many different ways he can hurt you. Today, he's done it with his feet. I think he's easily one of the most complete players in the country. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. A four-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. From the 11-yard line, second down. such a weapon for your offense when you have a quarterback who can do things like that. The coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. Ohio State holds a four-point lead. Scrambling around. He's in for the conversion. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Oklahoma and Oklahoma State. It's crazy. It's whack. It's off the chain. It's better. This one's been entertaining us all day long. One word to describe this rivalry. Nasty. And for Roberts, he's over the 150-yard mark. The Cowboys are out front. 23-10. 20-14, our score here. Melamy looks ready to kick this one off. his own goal line. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Swings it out left to the halfback. And he hits him hard at the 20. That'll be a two-yard loss. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. From their own 20-yard line, second down. throw excellent open field tackle this is smart efficient play call you don't need to make the highlight reel on each play that'll make it 35 this crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team he's going to try and scramble he's taken down at the 46 First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 46. Just under two to go in the game. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. So another third down here, and this time it's third and long. 
These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead, they've got a chance to add to it, and that'd mean a victory. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. That time, it was the sophomore corner who got in there to make the tackle. From the 45-yard line, it's second down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Oklahoma! Lost the ball, fumble! And the offense picks it up. Michigan's gonna have to use their second time out of the half. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. from the 31-yard line. First down. And now he's got room to run. Brought down right around the 18-yard line. The Wolverines using their third and final timeout. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 20. He's tackled at the nine. one's in the books. The Buckeyes take the win 20-14. to 14. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.